All right, guys, so I want to take a look at the Players tab of the Redditor. Um, this is the tab that is free with the Redditor um, that doesn't require any additional um, cost or anything to edit. So, uh, it's basically what it sounds. If there's information related directly to players, it is in this tab. Um, I really don't know where exactly to start with this, but it starts essentially with uh, the type of player right here at the beginning. If it's a, g a generated player, if it's a draftee, if the player is drafted or not, um, if they're special, slot type, a regular NBA, all this stuff can be changed. So let's take a look at some of the legends. As you can see, Jordan has nothing for any of this stuff. What you can do is change the regular NBA to one, and then if you start a new association and do a fancy draft, Michael Jordan will then be available to be drafted. That simple, that easy. This ASA ID right here, you can change that to unlock players for blacktop mode, which I'll cover in another video. Uh, you can change their positions, obviously their height and weight. You're gonna have to do a conversion because the height is in centimeters, but the weight is in pounds. That's just the way that uh, the um, <laughs> NBA 2K does things. Uh, the is special is mostly for uh, hidden players like Tracy McGrady. Um, and we got Greg Oden. <coughs> Excuse me. These are players that are still in the roster but locked. Like the man himself, Scal. Um, obviously, you can uh, change the birthday, the birth year, and all that fun. How many years pro they are. The college ID. Uh, who they were drafted by. Uh, their uh, nickname, their personality, uh, the other personality factors like loyalty, their peak age, uh, beginning and end uh, for their potentials, uh, that helps with their potential and everything. Um, if they have a generic face or not, if they do not, the cyber face ID, the audio ID, um, the name order, which to be honest, I really don't know what that does. <laughs> Um, the skin tone, muscles, everything like that. Um, God, face type. These are all creative um, player stuff, so you can change the hairstyle with this tab. Uh, keep going through. If they're a free agent or not, what number they play, what kind of plays they have assigned to them. Uh, the team ID changes not only the logo behind them, but also what uniform they wear in blacktop mode. So if I take Paul Pierce and change his team ID to the Lakers for whatever frickin' reason, he'll wear a Lakers uniform in blacktop mode instead of the Celtics. Cool little thing there. The minutes assigned, uh, the morale of the player, fatigue, all the different stats um, references for each of their years, uh, career stats, oh my goodness. Um, and then finally we get to ratings and you can change all the ratings you need to. Uh, the signature skills you can change here. And all these numbers have correlations and a PDF that will be released with the tool that will let you know uh, what number means what signature skill. All the tendencies, all the hot spots, all the hot zones, the animations from the shots to the free throw to contested shots and, and uh, dribbling <laughs> animations, all the dunk packages to the contract years and contract um, amounts. Um, some of the years signed with this team, years for current team, and then uh, no trade clause, uh, what kind of option they have. And then we go to gear. You can give everyone a t-shirt if you want to. All the left, all, all the gear types are in here. And somewhere in here, right here, the shoe model. If they, if the shoe uses custom colors or not. Um, and then the colors used c based on these color values right here. Um, if they're uh, locked to a brand or not you can finally change that I mean <sighs> I've said it again and again this tool is amazing and this is the stuff that you can edit for free so right then and there you can change the shoes if you want to you can change the names of players you can sh uh, make the hidden players show up in the in a association draft or yeah a fancy draft if you not if you want to you can add players to the free agency if you want to. Oh, and this is all the free stuff just with this one tab. So 
I hope that uh, kind of lays it out for you what you can do just with the players tab. Um, so if you need more information, check out the other tutorials or comment below and I'll see what I can do for you. And check out the all tutorials link in the description. Hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next video.